Hi, right, those of you trying to remove a Star Samosa from a Honda Jazz or Fit, um, the first Mark I versions, um, quickest way or the easiest way I found to do it was obviously remove the bumper. There's videos on how to do that, it's quite easy, just clips underneath. Um, once you've taken the bumper off, um, there's a supporting beam bar that goes across the front here that uh, you just unbolt with the two bolts either side. And once you've been done that, uh, I've actually removed the aircon uh, radiator unit because I actually needed to replace it anyway at the same time. So that was quite easy. Again, there's uh, tutorials on how to do that. Um, they should just support on the bars at the top and then literally they just pop off at the top and bottom uh, the connectors are there but it's quite easy to do and this obviously disconnects the, uh, the power that goes to the fan units once you've done that you actually gain access to the starter motor i've already done this job uh, myself so this is a really really quick tutorial bolt at the top there which i managed to get undone and then i had to remove the air filter housing uh, and that the bolt which is just there um, is the bolt that goes in Sarsamosa uh, into the other side so I've done that so I've unbolted it um, I'm going to come back around here um, and then the Sarsamosa I've already disconnected it but you can see that uh, the terminals at the top there is a bit of a tight squeeze but uh, I've got one of these very very small um, spanners mine's a 12 mil uh, unit Let's go on there to unbolt it. Uh, once when you've done that, uh, you've got these connections. So you just got uh, that one being pulled off first, and then you've got your main connector there. Uh, and then uh, you don't need to remove the sensor. A lot of people say you have to remove the sensor or your uh, dipstick unit. It does just come out of there without having to remove any of that so it's quite easy done so uh, and obviously then the fitting would be the same in reverse